A Youth Jam Radio Positive Minute. Thanks for listening to YJR. If you've ever uh, been put down or yelled at for having big emotion, it can be a pretty strong motivator to not show it again. Trouble is, when we fall for that, things happen. One might be that I learned to distrust my own positive emotions if I was hurt for being positive. I might fear expressing them or feeling them and not being able to control them. I might get way too good at it by putting a ban on displays of emotion. We can do this with painful emotion too. One way to tell if we do this is if we show little painful emotion for ages and then erupt like a volcano. These moments are usually not our finest. A ban on emotions sets up automatic responses to tough stuff and we might even forget we made that vow to block an emotion and never feel that way again. So we start to dissociate from or numb emotion, shut them down, psychologically disconnect from them. This process dehumanizes us and even affects how we do relationship. I reckon God is all for repair, healing and restoring our emotional design. I've also noticed though that God waits quite patiently until I give him permission to get on with the healing process. I think that if he didn't wait for permission, that would be spiritual abuse of my choices and I just don't think he's into that. What prayer can you create to give God back permission to heal you for disconnecting and dehumanizing? Here's one example. God, where I began to fear allowing someone to love me and get close to me, I let go of every ploy I've created to pretend that I'm safe from taking a risk in relationships. Come inside me where this affects me. Now, sit a minute without words and be still, noticing where stuff is softening, or if it feels just a little easier to breathe. This has been Owen Robinson from morehope.com.au.